How would you rate improving your health with just one natural ingredient? Intrigued? Then, let's delve into the world of turmeric's health benefits together. In our culture, we have been introduced to turmeric relatively recently. In the 1970s, studies were conducted that confirmed the outstanding anti-inflammatory effects of this spice. Today, it is considered one of the best antioxidants. And what happens if you consume turmeric? If you include it in your diet on a regular basis, the changes will be astounding. Turmeric, indeed, has the power to work wonders. We get sick, we get old, and the primary mechanism of aging and the development of chronic diseases is the constant inflammation that occurs in all the tissues of our body as we age. As we age, inflammation builds up, leading to chronic disease and the resulting aging and age-related sores. Chronic inflammation causes cardiovascular disease and cancer, in addition to aging. Curcuma contains a substance called curcumin. It is a powerful oxidant with strong anti-inflammatory effects. Curcumin is so effective that its anti-inflammatory effect is comparable to that of some medications, but without the side effect. It is important to note that curcumin kills cancer cells. Many studies have confirmed that it successfully inhibits their development and growth without harming healthy cells. When a cancer cell interacts with turmeric, it begins, roughly speaking, to digest itself. It is also interesting that statistics in India, where turmeric is widely used in food, show that certain diseases are much less common there. For example, prostate cancer is 50 times less common. Breast cancer is five times less common in India, kidney cancer is 10 times less common, and lung cancer is eight. It is estimated that the average person in India consumes one to three grams of turmeric daily, which is considered normal. The local cuisine also plays an important role in this. It cannot be claimed that adding turmeric to the diet can prevent cancer in an already sick person. Such an approach is too drastic. However, it can be argued that regular consumption of turmeric throughout one's life can serve as a means of cancer prevention. Turmeric also has a protective effect on the brain, preventing cognitive disorders and degenerative phenomena in the central nervous system. Studies have shown that curcumin has a positive effect on levels of neurotrophic factor, an important hormone for the brain. In regards to arthritis, a chronic inflammation of the joints, a study showed that when taking just half a gram of curcumin a day, people with arthritis experienced a significant reduction in pain, even more noticeable than when anti-inflammatory drugs were used. Curcuma also has positive effects on the liver. Studies suggest that it may reduce the risk of liver diseases such as fibrosis and cirrhosis, as well as reduce fat accumulation in the liver and reduce damage from chronic hepatitis. For the liver, especially in hepatitis, turmeric is not a cure, but it does act as a protective factor. When you take turmeric, it is important to consider dosages. The main active ingredient in turmeric is curcumin, which is about 3%. Presented in the form of a doughy powder, turmeric is a yellow powder. It is important to realize that the curcumin content in turmeric results in the fact that you will need to increase the amount of turmeric by about 30 times to get the same dosage. In most studies demonstrating the benefits of turmeric, volunteers were given 200 milligrams or less. It is recommended that you take no more than three milligrams of curcumin for every kilogram of body weight. This leads to an average recommendation of two grams of turmeric per day for an average weight adult of about 57 pounds. No side effects have been found at this dosage. However, there are precautions that should be taken. Pregnant women are advised not to exceed 500 milligrams of curcumin per day. And those who suffer from diabetes should avoid consuming large amounts of turmeric due to possible lowering of blood sugar levels. Also, people with iron deficiency are advised to limit their intake as curcumin can impair the absorption of this trace element. It is important to note that the absorption of turmeric and its bioavailability is not high. Mixing turmeric with ground black pepper increases the absorption of curcumin tenfold. So while adding turmeric to food, it is recommended to also add ground black pepper to increase the absorption efficiency. Subscribe to the channel, put a like and watch these helpful videos.
I look forward to your comments.